Hello guys, welcome to Yum Yum, and this is our recipe searching application. As you can see, we are uh, load the open screen of our application, and it stays about three seconds, and it will direct to our hot pages. So in these pages, we can see many recipes, and these recipes are actually sorted by the number of comments. As you can see, uh, the first one is about 119 comments, and the second one is about 109 comments. And in this case, we, not, we wanna log in our application. We just click the button named the profile, and then we direct to the login pages, and then we just click the register now, and here we just type in our username. So we just try Lily, and the password will be 12345. And then we confirm the password. So we click the register now, and then we direct to, it will show you have registered. And then we just type in our username, Lily, and then password 12345, and we log in. So it will direct to our hot pages. And then we click our profile. It will direct to our the profile pages. And we in these pages, we have the username, user ID, avatar, and the view history. But uh, this is a new account, so we don't have any view history. And then we back to the hot pages. And in, now we want to search the recipes. We click the search button. So there are five searching keys. We have the keywords, ingredient, cook time, rating, and author. We just first do the uh, keywords. So let's try the pasta. And we click the search. So it will show many recipes that match the keywords pasta. And we click, you can just choose the recipes that you interested. Suppose we are interested in this one and we click in the thumbnails, it will drag us to the recipe pages. And we can see the recipe names, the rating, the number of comments, the author, the ingredients. And in the ingredient part, we can see there are some nutritions in it. And we scroll down, we have the cook times, and we have the directions. And then, we have the user reviews. And if uh, the, the user reviews, we have the user avatars, the username and the rating for this recipes. And if you like his comment, you just click the thumbnails. So we just click one and it will refresh these pages again. And we scroll down, wait a minute. We scroll down, down, down. So it will show the thumb ups, the like, the number of likes. And we click again. And we, it will refresh again. And actually these re reviews are sorted by the number of comments. So when we just have one click, it will uh, bump to the top. And then we just return to our search pages. And in this case, we just wanna have more like the complex searching. We just do the pasta, the chicken, the cooking time will be uh, less than 45 minutes. And the rating, we do the 4.4. And then we click the search. Please wait. Uh, then we have nothing means we don't have the recipe that match the um, the searching keywords and we try the cook time for less than 60 and then we have our then we have the three results and we click the first one as as we show before it's the recipe pages uh, and if we really like the author of the recipe, like we say the star pulley, and we can just search the author name, star pulley. 
and then we click search. So it will show up all the recipes that is made it by the star pulley. So this is actually showing that our recipe is not fake, uh, our database is not fake. It. And we click the random one. It's still the recipe pages. And then we just back to our hot pages. And in this time, we just view several recipes. So now we go to our profile. Wow, we can see there's some view history. And we click the thumbnails of our view history. It just it will direct to our recipe pages. And if you don't want this, if you don't like this history, you just click the button like clear history. Well, it will, so in this case, we will delete all the history. Thanks for watching us. Yeah.